Houston, plus three on the road to face the Cleveland Browns. The Texans, they are 5-0 against spread versus Cleveland. 1-8 against the spread in their last nine games. They are 5-0 straight up versus Cleveland. Houston defense is allowing 154.5 rushing yards per game. That is last or worst in the NFL. Deshaun Watson's been sacked in 17 straight games and 24 times on the year already. Not a good sign. Not a good sign for that offensive line at all in Houston. The Browns are 3-8 against spread in their last 11 games. 7-2 straight up at home. 1-7 straight up versus the AFC South. 1-7 against spread versus the AFC. They're 4-15 and 1 against the spread in November are the Browns. In the head-to-head -head matchup, the under 7-2. The Fave is 6-2 against the spread. The home team 6-2 against the spread as well. Browns have the 19th ranked pass D. Wow. Miles Garrett tied for the league lead with nine sacks on the year already. That could be trouble, especially like I mentioned, how many sacks the Texans give up and have given up this year so far. Uh, nine sacks, that's tied first. Fourth, oh, Miles Garrett, yeah, tied for first with his nine sacks. And four first fumbles also ties him for first in the league in that category. Baker Mayfield followed up his best game maybe in week eight with his worst game in week nine. What version of Mayfield will we get this week? How healthy are the Browns? If Nick Chubb is a 100%, this will change my outcome on the game. If Chubb plays and is perfectly healthy, I like Cleveland to win this by three. Therefore, Houston will cover it. Well, therefore, it will be a push, so I'll pick Houston to cover the spread. If Nick Chubb is even questionable or not 100%, I pick Houston to win and cover. So watch out for the health and injuries like every game, every week.